What's good everyone, it's Zigzag here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are once again playing the series where you guys decide how I play jewels on my second account. In the last episode, you guys challenged me to guess the wrong country. In this episode, things are completely different because I'm tasked with guessing the right country, but as far away as I possibly can within the country. Obviously, this is gonna mean that some countries are terrific to get and some countries are absolutely horrible. Russia, America, I'm looking at you. Anyway guys, I really want you to go into the comments and tell me what to do as my next video. I've already filmed you guys' top suggestion from last video, which is to play blindfolded with someone who knows nothing about GeoGuessr. So stay tuned for that, that's coming up soon, but do comment, give the video a like, and subscribe, because I'm making daily videos, guys, so you have to stick around for it. And let's get straight into some jewels, where I guess the correct country, but as far away as possible. Okay, here we go into our first game. Look, my prediction is that we do come out with the wins here, but we are up into gold division for the first time, and some of our guesses are bound to be weird. Okay, so here we go. We got blurs everywhere. So this is gonna be a Lithuania round. Region guessing is not an advantage here. So it really doesn't matter. Anyway, so this is gonna be Lithuania. I have no idea where this is gonna be. So I'm just gonna click in the furthest reach because I feel like that's kind of least likely here. Got our guess down here. Wow, it ended up being on the right side of the country. Here goes Latvia. So some early damage here. Honestly, yeah, maybe the other side would have been the better bad guess, but yeah, I wasn't really sure there. Next one here, is this like, Brazil or Ghana or what? Looks like it is gonna be Ghana here. This feels like it might be in the middle of the country, but I think going all the way north here is probably in order. So I think that this corner here is the furthest away. Um, it's probably just somewhere in the south. So again, the type of round where we should be losing some points here, he goes Kumasi area, and that is gonna be a thousand points of damage. Look, against silver divisions, I think we'd win this. However, against golds, it really comes down to those difficult rounds where we can identify it before they can. So this one's gonna be chilly, I think. I'm actually not even sure here. No, we've got an antenna. So I guess this has to be Brazil. It doesn't really feel like Brazil, to be honest, though. Um, where's the sun? The sun appears to be to the north here. So that would fit, I guess, more so for the southern hemisphere. I don't know what country this is. Well, we can definitely still guess pretty far away here. Um, this should be like northern Brazil or something like that. I think if we click all the way west here, it's not gonna be there. And regardless, like, but the sun, the soil is not red at all. So maybe this is Mexico. I mean, it's just a very difficult round in all honesty. Like it doesn't really strike me as either one. And I don't think it's Colombia either. So <laughs> it's very difficult. Um, hmm. Overall, I think, I think Brazil is more likely. I'm gonna go Amazonas here. Look, if it's a hard round anyway, I like uh, we, we might not be uh, getting too many points, like even if I was guessing exactly where I thought it was, um, which would probably be somewhere around here or I guess somewhere in the Central Valley. I don't know, actually a legitimately difficult one. And it was, yeah, indeed, Northeast Brazil. He goes to South Africa there, sends us a bit of a laughing emoji there. So I guess I will send it back. And uh, that one was like a good example of how big countries are just awful. And here we are in, oh my gosh, we just have to instantly guess here. This is, <laughs> this is as far away as I think it could be in Canada. I think Canada Canada, if you're talking about as far north as possible, that's got to be it. Um, I'm assuming that is Canada. I mean, these look like Ontario poles, so I'm assuming we're there, but it could still be elsewhere, I guess. No, it is Ontario, and yeah. Okay, guys, this is definitely a challenge and a half. I would be, honestly, like, I thought this would be easy, or at least not too hard, but yeah, he sent in the question mark emoji. I think this is going to be up there with the more difficult challenges we've done so far. Oh, this is Bermuda. So the question is, do we go Bermuda here? We could actually knock him out if we did. I think we have to go UK. I think that's actually the rules here. So I think in terms of UK territories, this might be the furthest from Bermuda. It could also just be like something like British Indian Ocean territories or something like that. That's probably further, honestly. I'm gonna go British Indian Ocean territories. Now, can I even find them? I think, oh, here they are. Okay, there we go. Let's go here. This is a, this is a dodgy ass guess, guys. Um, but he's not gonna get it either. I think as a gold rated player, Unless he realizes by driving left-hand side of the road and we have a yellow line, which are the best clues for getting uh, Bermuda, then I think it's unlikely. We shall see. Can Damien come through with a sick guess here? And yeah, he actually goes in Malaysia. Now, my guess is gonna look a bit strange. So, <laughs> Damien, if you're watching this, um, yeah, it's the Thai goat. What can I say? You already know. Oh, no, don't tell me this is Curacao. This is a wild seed, bro. Yeah, this is Curacao. Okay, we have to go to the Netherlands. Uh-oh, well, the thing is, like, he shouldn't know this either. As a gold rate of the opponent, I don't think this is common knowledge. So the question is, where does he go? Does he go Mexico? Does he go Brazil? Does he go Africa? Okay, he goes Guatemala. That makes sense. It's going to be knockout damage, I think. Double damage there. 2,000 points. <laughs> GG's to Damien. Okay, this... I mean, I feel like we got a terrible seed, but this is 
Gonna drop us down to the silver division. Okay, we have a chance to get back into the gold division here. I think we should play until we get a win because it's gonna be difficult. We're against the, the, the Honey Badger here who is uh, pretty high rated to be fair. So it's gonna be an interesting one here. We're in Malta, perfect start here. Definitely the country you wanna see on this mode if you are trying to gain rating. I hedged in the middle, which is technically against the rules, but it's not going to be its not going to be much of a difference in terms of uh, damage here. And to be fair, on Malta, I don't really know where I am half the time anyway, although I think this is a pretty good guess. I think it's probably in the western side of the Southern Island, in my opinion. And yeah, it was. Okay, so yeah, accidentally good there. Still, we couldn't have gotten that far away. It's only going to be a matter of 28 points. And the Money Badger, um, not the Honey Badger, has actually gotten a good guess. So this is, uh, this is interesting. Next one's Lesotho here. Oh no, it's actually just uh, Bo uh, Bolivia. So in terms of Bolivia, I think this is all the way east, so I think we have to go, I mean, I think this is all the way west, so I think we go all the way east here. This should be the furthest we can possibly get from La Paz area, where I think it is. So, look, I think we can, can actually be at a bit, bit of an advantage here, just because this is a relatively difficult round. Um, he probably won't go the right country, um, and he doesn't. So yeah, we actually do do a bit of damage there. It's not going to be too much, but yeah, healthy 700, 800, 900 points of damage there. Okay, very nice. Next one here. So those were, these, we've, we've had all nice countries so far, and even still, we haven't done much damage. This is Estonia? I think so, no. Is it going to be like uh, Slovenia or something like that here? I don't know, I think this is like uh, somewhere in this kind of region of the world, like on the on the Adriatic or something, maybe. I don't even know the country. Um, yeah. Hmm, like lots of red roofs. I feel like it is maybe Adriatic here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Slovenia all the way across. Ultimately on rounds where I don't really know the country, it's fine. I think it's fair play for me to just guess. Um, but I can still see it being like Slovakia, maybe in Czechia or something like that here. We'll see. Well, it was just middle Slovenia near Ljubljana there. Um, so ultimately we got the right country and we uh, make the optimally far guess there. So that's good. Happy with that. Uh, and let's see here, guys. Do you think I'm going to be able to do it? That's the, that the question of the rest of the video. Can I actually pull a win here? Uh, this is Slovakia, I believe. That almost felt like a Montenegrin sign. So I think we actually might be in Montenegro here. Look up for the rifts. There they are. Now, this is pretty This is pretty green. So I would actually probably go max northwest because I think it might be max northeast. <clears throat> and yeah, it was max northeast. I actually meant max southwest, of course. But there we go. Another optimal guess there. So... Very interesting. I wonder if he suspects anything or if he just... I mean, at this level, probably people wouldn't suspect anything. They wouldn't quite know what's going on, I think. Anyway, this one is going to be South Osh or something, I reckon. Wait, if it's if it's sunny, then it should be probably... Yeah, Osh. So we should go here, probably. Um, unfortunately, it's very far away. Um, but our opponent will probably just go Bishkek, so it should be fine. That is if they realize where we are. Not every Silver Division player would know the Kyrgyzstan Google car. And yeah, he goes in Ukraine. So maybe we've done it here. Ooh, ooh, we actually did it. Okay, so clearly what I'm getting the vibe is, that was a flawless, by the way. I'm getting the vibe here that gold is gonna be difficult and silver is gonna be pretty easy. That was a top rated silver opponent here against Mark. Now, my prediction is that we're gonna lose this duel, especially if we start off in America. That is, that is terrible. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Is this British Columbia at least? I think it's British Columbia. Let's see what we got here. 22nd Street. Hmm. Interesting. I actually don't know where we are. Uh, these guardrails are very British Columbia, though. So, oh yeah, that looks like a British Columbian speed sign. Okay, here we go, guys. The very painful reality of clicking all the way north here uh, near Greenland is uh, is setting in. I don't think uh, Canada has any external territories like Australia does that are significantly far away. But I did kind of get the feeling that he might not get it. And yeah, that is only going to be 200 points of damage. Look how much further we are on the map, but really it's only 700 kilometers difference. That's Mercator project Projection L, classic L right there. Uh, this one, I think it's actually Southern Tunisia. So I still think this is the best guess for getting far away, but I could definitely see an arg argument for guessing Max North here. Hmm, not really sure about this one, but it definitely, yeah, has more of a South vibe, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is kind of like rocky dryness with the olive trees. I think that's like kind of typical of Neosfax. You could get it around Gerba as well, I think, so we'll see. Um, and it was just near Sfax there, indeed. So, yeah, I think South was the right call there, fortunately. Um, and our opponent <laughs> gets closer than this, unsurprisingly. Okay, next one here is Indonesia. Terrible again, I would say. We have Javanese roofs here, not necessarily in Java, but it kind of feels it anyway. Um, regardless, I think the furthest we can get is like over here. So, rest in peace. This is going to be a painful one, I think. Now, could we have gone Aceh instead? Because I think even some of these islands, oh yeah, it was Java. Yeah, I mean, Aceh would have been closer, so that's a good guess from us. 2.4k. Guys, 
We're in serious trouble here. Like, I, I do get the feeling that the divisional difference here is so stark that we are in serious trouble. Okay, this is the UK. Oh, and it's, at least it's Ireland. Thank goodness, bro. If this was the UK, we would have been done for. But yeah, we have the white rear plate here to confirm Ireland. So I guess, I don't even know where this is. Let me actually try and work it out here. Um, Joe McCoven. Hmm. Uh, what do we have? Anything? Hmm. I don't think I see anything to give away the, the place here. I mean, I was kind of just assuming it would be hmm, more Northern. So I might go max South here, but I really don't have a strong vibe. It was more northern there. It was in Silgo. So again, a good guess from us, um, resulting in more damage. So uh, are we going to go from being, to, from getting the flawless to being flawless? This is a very interesting episode. Definitely uh, an interesting way to play against, against lower rate of the opponents. And so this one is, I think, southern Greece, probably. So I think this kind of guess here is probably in order. This is basically as far in Greece as you can go. Like Rhodes could have been an option, but I actually think it even could be Rhodes. Like it's just kind of like a, yeah, more of a, more of a Southern vibe. Crete, honestly a good guess there, um, but we're still further away here. So yeah, Mark has just been really good at recognizing the country within the allotted time. And then even when he made some bad guesses, it didn't matter because I had to guess really far away. Here we are in Portugal. So Portugal is actually a good country for us to, or well, no, it's not. Ah, uh, yep, guys, we're going, we're going Fung Chal here. We're going, um, where are we actually looking? Okay, let's Carbon Verde. There we go. We're going Madeira here. This is uh, a little bit painful. Um, fortunately, you know, maybe actually this would have been better. Yeah, that would have been better. I forgot that that's, I, I thought um, Madeira is a bit further south, but to be fair, we're probably getting knocked out here if, if our opponent knows any Portuguese meta, which he should, he should. This should be it. And... Ooh, it's kind of interesting. A little bit of lag. Oh, it's a bit south there. So I think we might survive here, actually. So 1,000 points difference, double damage. Oh, there we go. 2.7K. Mark knocking us out. But we're still gold division here. GG's to Mark. I wonder if he noticed that we got the country every time. Um, he probably did, to be honest. And here we go. Another high-rated gold opponent. If we get this dub, we have to be pretty happy. Because this is actually... These opponents are quite decent. The Geogasa Sphere, even though Geogasa is not the most popular game at the moment. The Geogasa Sphere is very, like, it's very coming along. Like, a lot of gold rated opponents are easily would have made champion back in the day, I think. So, pretty impressive. But, here we have some Southern Russia, and yeah, even Ukraine. Oh, it was Donetsk. We could have lost so many less points there. I didn't even consider Donetsk there. And our opponent getting a really good guess, like a strangely good guess there. Like a weirdly good guess. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy was sus. Just because, like, it doesn't, like, maybe it's just because he's a lower rated opponent and he just thought it was Ukraine. But you only really get the black car around Donetsk in Ukraine. The rest of the country has the red car. And, yeah, I, I mean, I just expect a, a player his rating to know black car Russia and just go with Russia. But maybe, to give him the benefit of the doubt, he was just, you know, vibe guessing it. Um, anyway, this was once Taiwan. That's a good country to get here. Um, I think the furthest away we're really going to be able to get here is Lengqiang Lang County. Um, but just as easily, this island here could be it. Uh, these ones belong to the Philippines. So it does give me maybe a bit more of a South vibe, but I mean, North vibe, but I'm going to go here anyway. And it was actually just middle. So yeah, probably the island was about equidistant there. That's fine. 3.2K though. He goes Japan. So even though we took our time there, it really wasn't too bad. Japan, a terrible country to be getting. This is around Tokyo. So the furthest we can get here is down here. Look guys, this is uh, likely GG if he just goes Tokyo. And yeah, he does. Like what can we really do there? And that's just an example of basically Seed giving us GG against a good opponent. So let's see if we can continue our luck against the Silvers here. Um, like we're just bouncing up and down here, which is kind of funny. Um, we're against Jesus here. And we are literally on, we need one point, I think, to go up divisions here. So that's pretty interesting. This is Botswana, so got, Kind of the idea that this might be a bit further north but botswana is not my strongest country anymore so i'm not really sure I, i'm gonna go south here though jesus is sending the uh the shocked emoji maybe he doesn't know where this round is or maybe he recognizes the Thai goat in which case shout outs to you jesus um but uh let's see what happens here where he's gone i've gone all the way west and it was just gabaroni there so we could have gone north instead and our opponent goes in the us in utah not an entirely unreasonable guess, but look how much the divisional difference is here, guys. It's actually kind of astounding to me. I'm, I'm, I'm quite taken aback. Um, but okay, um, let's see here. This is Russia. I think we know the deal here. This time I'm actually sure it's Russia. And so we just have to guess up there. Now, our opponent is liable to get the wrong country. Nevertheless, with Cyrillic here, 
I think he just clicks kind of Southern Russia here. And we could even be like losing all the advantage we had. He actually hedges Belarus here. We're only gonna be 2000 points because of that. Fortunately, Russia is big enough that even with our guess all the way over there, it's not too bad. Okay, next one here, Russia again. How many Russias can we survive? I think this is, uh, I think this is also Southern Russia. So we pretty much go here. Now, could this be Magadan or something? Could I accidentally be making a good guess here? Well, it's very industrial. I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think it's Magadan, um, but it is kind of an interesting looking round. I think it's more likely to just be kind of Central Asian Russia. Um, but again, I don't really know where, where this is exactly. This is like a, like an Asian looking car. So, you know, you do see those. Yeah, well, it's just Krasnoyarsk Gary. You got a lot of Asian cars. Krasnoyarsk and further east. Like, that's definitely a good meta. And we actually managed to be closer than him here. Not to mention, if we had gone um, Murmansk, um, then we would have been further away. I think I was, yeah, I was saying Magadan would have been a decent guess, potentially. But yeah, Murmansk would have been so far away. Next one here, we've got white number plates again. We get saved by Ireland. I'm telling you guys. Oh, is this the UK? We have one yellow plate. What about the other ones? One white, two white. I think this is indeed Ireland, probably right on the border. So we'll go, we'll go down south. But the UK is terrible because we have to guess an overseas territory and then it's just over. Um, but Ireland is comparably very good. And it was indeed north there. So yeah, we're gonna be holding on here just 600 points of damage. Actually still in the lead against Jesus. Um, and we get Israel, so this one's potentially great, we can see. Um, Israel, guys, did you realize that Israel recently got an update for Generation 4 cam cameras? The next country in a long line to get the Generation 4 camera. Um, kind of sick, right? Um, yeah, this one should be north with like the bay. It might be Sea of Galilee even, I could imagine, um, with this landscape, but yeah. Uh, was it Sea of Galilee? Yeah, it was nice. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. And we actually take the dub there as well. So yeah, go check out the Israel Generation 4 camera. We're back in the gold division. Look, I wanted to end the video there, but we have to go for one more just to find out if we can actually be a gold division on this. This is kind of kind of fascinating. I, I, I honestly think that this could be a good little side series trying to get a one win on gold division on this. Uh, Sebas the goat, he's only 700 this time. So it's a big difference from some of our previous opponents. He's immediately sending us the uh, the crazed emoji, so he, so he uh, he clearly wants a wave back. Um, this is uh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so it's gonna be Belgium here first round. Is that a bit of blue on the both sides there? It's actually France. So France is significantly worse than Belgium because we have to go Réunion. Oh no. Um, is maybe New Caledonia further? I actually think yeah, anything out here is further. We'll go. New, we'll actually go New French Polynesia here. Uh, you hate to do it, but this is definitely like somewhere on the uh, Belgian border with this much brick, maybe Lille, Dunkirk, anywhere like Dantemont here. So yeah, it's, it's no good. It's no good. I can tell you that much. It's going to be a good... Oh, wow. He goes Italy. That's very lucky for us. It's going to be 3,000 points damage off the bat here. Uh, he probably knows we're going for some crazy challenge here, but France is just about the worst. And don't tell me we've got France again. This Loki looks like France. Okay, let's take a look around here. At least... We're driving right here, so it should be Luxembourg. Ooh, juicy. Luxembourg is like the best possible country to get. I'm gonna go south here, because I think this is actually North Luxembourg with these bigger hills. Um, but yeah, like in the grand scheme of things, perfect country to be getting Luxembourg. Because it's not that easy to identify. He might go Netherlands here. I wouldn't even be surprised because we have a lot of yellow plates and okay, he does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Sebas, he's from what, um, Romania. Definitely, definitely probably, you know, you guys know how I love to say if someone's from Europe, they are a bit better at Europe, but and so, and my European friends laugh at me, but think about the average like American or Aussie. They've, they've probably never been to, to these countries and sure, a Romanian might not have, but you know, okay, okay, okay. I get this kind of fallacious reasoning. <laughs> okay, next one here, uh, lots of palms, gonna be Brazil. We go max south here. This is definitely the furthest point from Brazil, uh, in Brazil from this round. It's gonna be somewhere up here. Um, if I had to make my guess properly, it's interesting. I'm actually not quite sure. It could even be like Accra or something like that, but I'm sure that it's not south. So this is definitely far away regardless. And he'll probably get it. Let's see. Ooh, he doesn't guess. Okay, so it was northeast there. It's only 500 points damage. That's how huge Brazil is. Did you know that the north tip of Brazil, the very northern point like around um, Boa Vista, is closer to every country in the Americas than it is to the southernmost point of Brazil. Because think about it, right? You've got, by the way, this round's terrible. We're in a US overseas territory. So we'll let him have some fun looking for it. But if you're here, you're closer to Argentina than you are to the bottom here. You're closer to this point in Uruguay than you are to the bottom here. And you're closer to Chile, obviously. And then you're even closer to Nova Scotia 
than you are to southern Brazil. So it's actually just crazy, man. Like, that's... Like, Brazil is a huge country. And... Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of fascinating, right? Okay, here we are over here. So if we're going to get as far away in the U.S. territory as we can, what does the U.S. own that's kind of crazy? I feel like Puerto Rico might be map might be the furthest here. Um, but then again, I guess I guess Maine is actually kind of better. So I'm going to go Maine here. I'm sure if I thought about it a bit longer, we could come up with something better here. Maybe even like U.S. Virgin Islands could potentially actually be be further away. Um, what else, what else do the U.S. own out here? Um, it's not American, it's not American Samoa, I'm pretty sure that's much closer. Well, yeah, of course it is. And actually, he goes for Bermuda there, so it's one point apiece, he basically managed to go as far away as possible, 13,000 kilometers there, so I guess that's lucky for us. And the next one here, um, is gonna be somewhere in Hungary? Hmm, or is it like S Serbia or something? We don't have an antenna here, so yeah, I think it's Serbia, maybe Croatia, though. Well, if we don't have an antenna, then I'd lean Serbia, right? Uh, dot .mk. Okay, it's actually North Macedonia. Again, a very good country to get. I would say this is probably the capital, so we'll go down here. Um, and that makes it, I would say, yeah, this is almost certainly near the capital. Um, so this is about as far away from Skopje as you can get. But yeah, the lack of blue strip is quite common in North Macedonia as well. And I think especially around Skopje, maybe, but I'm, I'm not really sure how legitimate that is. But yeah, it was just near the capital city there. Again, good damage here. So we're actually bringing it back with that, 2.1k. These small countries are simply what you have to get if you want to have a fighting chance at winning this. And here we are in, in, in probably, um, uh, Ahmedabad, I think. Oh, we got southern language here, so we have to go north, unfortunately. So depending on border disputes, like this one kind of depends. Oh, wow, and he goes Delhi, that's lucky for us. Um, Bangalore there, yeah, it makes, makes sense that it would be Bangalore with that, uh, with that writing, the, uh, kind of Tamil writing, I guess, or, like, so actually, it might, maybe might not be, but Southern writing. This one feels Northern, um, Philippines to me. I think we just go instantly here in the South and hope for the best. Um, we may have accidentally made a good guess, but I think these tuk-tuks are the Northern style, and the whole round just feels a bit further North to me in general, so... We have to rely that he doesn't get the country here. It's possible he doesn't. It all depends on language guessing. How quick is Sebas? He gets it. We're gonna survive though, I believe here. Ooh, double damage. Ooh, he takes us out with a pretty average guess to be fair. Unfortunately, Philippines is just a bit too big. So let's give him a GG here. We still lack our gold division win, but definitely I'll be bringing that back. I really hope I can take a gold w uh, division win here at some time. And actually, he's from Andorra, so maybe he did know. Maybe he did know the Luxembourg because of that. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time, and goodbye.